ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Skyrim Anniversary Edition, where we're at the Moorside Inn in Morthal, where I'm happy to report the doors work again. Hurrah! I had to reinstall the patch compendium for uh, the Morthal City mod, and I discovered when doing so that you have to tick when you have ELFX installed. But if you do that, you also need to scroll down to the bottom and pick an option for how ELFX is integrated. If you don't do that, it doesn't the patch doesn't work properly, and that's why you end up with a missing door. So uh, yeah, for anyone else who's using ELFX along with this city mod, make sure you did that in the patch thingy. Speaking of patches, I also installed a specific patch that should make survival mode work with campfire so i haven't tested it yet but theoretically hopefully in future our actual campfires will provide us with proper warmth unlike they have been until now so there's that anyway ladies and gents we're at the moor side in immortal it's sort of late afternoon previously we came across the marshes such a welcome sight in dreary old Morthal. welcome friend welcome well, he's friendly enough. Uh, we made it across the marshes. We had to sleep sleep there overnight uh, as we made our way I'm out of solitude after robbing the winking skeever. Would you prefer I proclaim your and your now strength. we're just sort of on our way back to Riften, really, because we did our job in Whiterun, we did the job in solitude, no and now we need to head back towards Riften. Solid. And what I need to do, really, is I need to look at the map. And I need to consider a few things because we also have this job from the uh, where is it? The Dragonborn Gallery Museum. So oh yeah, here we go. An interesting prospect. Or Orion Morellus and in Solitude has asked me to retrieve three relics for him in order to prove myself worthy of helping with his museum. I need to find the sixth house bell hammer in Broken Helm Hollow, Den Stagma's ring at Silent Moon's camp, and the Jade Warrior Two somewhere in the Reach. So, yes, there. Potentially, we could be making a bit of a diversion down towards the Reach before we come back around this way. Because Silent Moon's camp is just there outside Whiterun. And I believe, uh, yeah, Broken Helm Hollow is down here near Riften. So... I think our next destination, I thought it was going to we were going to be traveling across this way across the pale. Uh but actually it looks like our next destination is going to be all the way down in the reach. So the question is how how best to get there other than just simply picking a direction and walking. I guess we can go out of Morthal, follow the road west. There is a road here. It seems to really lead all the way up to something on a mountain top over there. We take the uh, we take the road west, and then we go up this way back here, just south of Dragon Bridge, and then we can walk back up here through towards Rorikstead. But we could take a right there, and then that's assuming we want to follow the road. And I don't know if we do actually, because following the road's a bit boring. I find I follow the roads a little too much in Skyrim, frankly. I don't know why. Whenever I'm playing Morrowind or Oblivion, I tend to just sort of go off the beaten path in whatever way I feel you know, fits. But whenever I play this game, I'm always sticking to the damn road, and I don't really know why. So I think we'll just, you know, choose a southwesterly direction and head head that way and see what we run into along the way. I might find some more interesting stuff out there. I've got mods installed that add more things to find and explore in the wilderness anyway. It's not quite, you know, like oblivion unique landscapes type stuff, but there is still a few extra things out there for us to find. So, yeah. And praised for when we leave, eternity? we'll be heading southwest towards no, the Reach. I mean it. When I'm known throughout Tamriel, you'll regret this decision. Hello, Strag. I've decided to let Strag and Inigo relax here at the inn. I'm going to go poke around Morthal for a bit before we leave today. In well, fact, I don't think we are going to leave today. We're probably going to stay here for the night. Good to have a customer. There ain't much to offer, but if you want a place dry to spend the night, I'll rent you a room. Uh, okay. Is business in Morthal slow? Can't imagine why. Slow? No, it just ain't there at all. 
Few enough reasons to pass through Morthal before the war started. Now, well, let's just say the front door doesn't get much use. What's with the orc? Lurbuck? Fancies himself a bard. He pays, so I let him stay. If I had any customers, I'd be worried about him annoying them. But, well, <laughs> look around. I see. Any news or rumors floating about? Here, take a look at this. It's always, always, they always just give you a note, don't they? Stay clear of the marsh. Uh, um, any other news or rumors floating about? Here, take a look at this. Strange activity near Stonehills added. Is there a story behind that burned down house? Krogar's house? It burned down not too long ago. It's a real pity about his wife and kid. The screams woke half the town. Most folk won't go near it now for fear it's cursed. How did the fire start? Krogar claims it was a hearth fire. Some folks say Krogar started it himself. With his own wife and child inside? That's what they say. See, he's living with Alva now. That started the day after the fire. It ain't right moving in with a new love the day after your kin die like that. And of course they can't prove he murdered them, I suppose. Aye. Our Jarl would sure like to know if he did, though. Might even pay to find out. To be quite frank, I'm surprised that something as small as proof has stayed the hand of the Nordic mob, but uh, that just seems to be how things work around here. I'm in need of some work. Do you have anything for me? Of course. It's all in this note. Oh, right. Always with the notes. Alright, well, what's the stuff she gave us? Do you know what I really miss from Starfield, of all games? And I don't know if this is because of a UI mod I have for Starfield, or whether it was in the original game, I don't actually remember. But in Starfield, when I play that, when you go into the inventory screen, there is a specific category for new items that you've just received. Makes life so much easier. Stay clear of the marsh. We got this one from her. Attention travellers, there's been increased Chorus activity in the area south of Folgenthur Ruins. A recent camp of researchers left for the area a fortnight ago and have not returned since. Please exercise caution when travelling to the marsh. Oh, well, we found some Choruses, didn't we? Chori? Chori? I don't know. Strange activity near Stone Hills. That was the other one, wasn't it? To whom it may concern, miners have reported strange activities in the forests west of Stone Hills. Carriages to and from the area should proceed with caution. I don't know where Stone Hills is. Okay. What else? Should you give us another note? Like if it's something that doesn't have a gold. Uh, eye icon next to it. Okay, she said it's all in this note and then didn't give us a note. Whatever. Map updated. Has that updated our map with Stone Hills? By any chance? Mirror Watch. Stone Hills. Well, there's Stone Hills, apparently! Very good. Well, we're not really going that way, so... Chat with the orc, shall we? Hello, Lurbuck. Don't fret over the gloom. There's nothing to fear. Old Lorbuck will brighten your spirits. Just lend him your ear. What do you do around here? I'm a bard, trained at the Bard's College in Solitude. Wanderers like you should think about applying. All right, then. I see. They actually let you graduate, did they? The good people of Morthal have yet to embrace my talent. Uh, let's have some to eat before we step out. I'm just going to have a little look around. I decided to leave those two back in the inn, because honestly, I think Fathis could probably do with some time in his own company to regather his wits and his patience from time to time, because those two are very handy to have around in a fight, but they are also a bit mad. And you know, two's company, three's a crowd and all that. So it's very atmospheric, if nothing else. Hello? Brutius. Yeah, 
Come, come, I haven't got all day. Need something? Uh, apparently not. Is there a fishing spot around here, do you think? Oh, hello, look at this. Need fishing something. map, Yarmarch. Ah, it's got fishing spots marked out on it. It's handy to have, I suppose. Still think I'd almost rather install a mod that lets me fish anywhere, though. I've been a bit spoiled by the ultimate fishing mod for Morrowind. I kind of want to be able to fish anywhere now, instead of in designated spots. I'm mostly just walking around at the minute admiring modded Morthal. It feels like so much more like this place has its own identity now, versus the generic wooden shacks it has in the original game, you know? I mean, um, look at this hall as well, I mean, wow. High Moon Hall. Should we go in and see what's what? Maybe there's a court wizard here. It's an interesting looking throne. If you've business with the Jarl, I'd ask that you speak to me first. Awful, uh, what was that argument outside the hall? Ah, you saw that, did you? Life in Morthal has been troubled lately. The people are uncertain, restless, and nearly look to the Jarl for leadership. What's going wrong in Morthal? There's news of rebellion against the Empire. Strange noises have been heard in the marshes at night. And then, the tragedy with Rogar's home. The men simply seek wisdom. Everything will be fine. Morthal seems like a relatively quiet little town. That's what many here wanted. A quiet life in a quiet place, without the noise or the trouble of a city. Now some worry this wizard Falion will foul it all up. I see. I'll take my leave then. Might as well introduce ourselves to the Jarl. Maybe she can make use of us, I don't know. While we're here. So, life has brought you to Morthal and to me. As this serves, we will no doubt see. Welcome. Is there some kind of trouble in Morthal? That which is unknown can create unease, even fear. It is to be expected. Some fear our new resident wizard. As they grow to know him, they will accept him. Time will prove me right. Where do you stand on the war? I stand where I have always stood. Here in Morthal. Now is not the time to fight amongst ourselves. I fear dark days approach, and all of Skyrim's strength will be needed. I see. I hear you want someone to look into that house fire. Rogar's house fire? Well, he lost his wife and daughter in the blaze. My people believe it to be cursed now. Who am I to gainsay them? What does Hrogar say happened? Hrogar blames his wife for spilling bear fat in the fire. Many folk think he set the fire himself. Why would he do that to his own family? Lust can make a man do the unthinkable. The ashes were still warm when he pledged himself to Alpha. So why haven't you arrested him? On rumor and gossip? No. But you, a stranger, might find the truth for us. Sift through the ashes that others are too fearful to touch. See what they tell you. Should you prove him guilty or innocent, I will reward you. Rogar's fate is in your hands. Very well. While I'm here, might as well make myself useful as we lay low. So. You business with the Jarl. I'd ask that you speak to me first. I imagine Fath has probably considered this to be a simple matter. He's presided over many, many investigations in the past, particularly when he ran his own Telvani Tower, after all. Wouldn't be the first little mystery he's had to solve. But this one is intriguing, because it seems, off the face of it, very obvious what happened, and yet... Experience has taught Fethus that... 
It never really is quite that simple. Or obvious. Do you know, I think there's an alchemy shop around here somewhere we should really consider doing some potion making. Who's there? Is that you, father? Ah, hello. Mm -hmm. Who are you then? Help me. But father says I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Are you a stranger? Is Hrogar your father by any chance? You know him? He made my favorite dolly, but I can't find her. Are you sure you aren't a stranger? No, I'm a friend. Do you know what happened to your house? The smoke woke me up. I was hot and I was scared, so I hid. Then it got cold and dark. I'm not scared anymore. But I'm lonely. Will you play with me? If I do, will you tell me who set the fire? Okay, let's play hide and seek. You find me, and I'll tell you. We have to wait for nighttime, though. The other one is playing too, and she can't come out until then. The other one? What do you mean? I can't tell you. She might hear me. She's so close. If you can find me first, I can tell you. All right, then. Curiouser and curiouser. Chocolate sticks. If I was playing Morrowind, those would be useful, but I'm not. Nah, that's the problem with playing multiple Elder Scrolls games at once on the channel. Get my wires totally crossed. It should be getting dark relatively soon, actually. However, I am going to go look for this alchemy shop. I think it's here, yes? Aha, yeah. Thermoturgist's hut. Ah, oh, thermaturgy. A casualty oh, of the transition to Daggerfall to Morrowind. If you need any alchemy supplies, I'll do my best to provide them, assuming I haven't used them all up. Do you have a hard time getting supplies all the way out here? No, no. Well, sometimes, but that's not the problem. I just often don't have much to do, so I tend to try things out. They don't usually work, but I try. Next thing I know, I've used up most of my stock. How long have you studied alchemy then? I picked up the trade when I was a girl. One of the temple healers staying here on a pilgrimage showed me the basics. She had a book with her, Song of the Alchemists, that I used to read over and over. I miss having a copy. That's too bad. I suppose it is. Ah, so you're an alchemist then? Yes, I am. What have you got for sale? Anything particularly helpful? Let's go potions value. Plentiful healing. Oh, we've not got a lot of gold, have we? Uh, have we got any... Yeah. Got a few, few potions that we don't need particularly. Get rid of some of these. Make a bit of dosh on the side. I never use past stamina potions. Now, of course, I've gotten rid of all of them. I'm probably going to need one soon, but yeah. Firebrand wine is actually relatively expensive, so I suppose we can get rid of that. And the Argonian blood wine as well. Anything particularly valuable? Yeah, void salts are kind of valuable. Alright, we'll sell those. And the frost salts. Okay, we've made ourselves a little bit of extra dosh now, which I'm going to exchange for a few potions. Until next time. Right, have you got an... Aha, you do. Excellent. Right. We've got a whole heap of ingredients that I'm pretty sure I've not... Yeah. This is always a bit disgusting, but we've got to go through and find out the primary attribute of all of these. A 
particularly the fish, since we can sit down and fish for those anytime we like. Ectoplasm is restore magic, is it? That's good to know. Oh man, the effects of these are going to hit like a truck when I unpause the menu. <laughs> uh, hawk feathers, honeycomb, ice red teeth. Didn't take a genius to figure out what they might do. Okay, powdered mammoth tusk. Where on earth did I get that from? Don't, we don't use the salt piles because we keep them around for cooking. Oh, already. I <laughs> just chowed down on some troll fat for no reason at all. Well done, me. Vampire dust is invisibility. Okay. Oh my god, I actually killed myself with Warcraft. That's. That's a first for me in this game, I've got to admit. Holy crap. All right. Um, I picked up that she had a I'm going to click through all the dialogue I that I did before just for the sake of being no, consistent. No. Often... Next thing I know, I've used up most of my stock. Okay, right. <laughs> oh my word. Okay. Boom. 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 Yeah! Okay. Okay, what's going on? Why am I... What? I've got full health. What is instantly killing me? Do I have a weird magic effect on me right now that's... interacting strangely? I'm very confused right now, I've got to be honest. What is it that's killing me? Is it the Chorus eggs? Ah! No. Bleeding ah! crown, perhaps? No. The Batwing? Ah! The Batwing! The Batwing is so virulently toxic that it insta-kills you. Oh my word, what's the deal with that then? That's really strange. Okay, well don't bloody chow down on Batwing, folks. It'll apparently horribly kill you. That is ludicrous. That can't be, that can't be right. That's gotta be a bug or a glitch or something. Right, let's go through the rest of them. Oof, man. Okay, yeah, the death bell's got damage health, but it's only, yeah, it just takes a little bit off you, as it, you would expect. Yeah, go through all of these again. The mirror's rot. Nightshade. Yeah, yeah oh, still good. We're still good. And then root. Orange dart wing, powdered mammoth tusk, the rat tip. Ah! So the bats and the rats are from the same mod, and now I've got it's got me wondering: is the rat tail gonna insta kill me as well? Ah! No, no, it's not. Okay. Right, saber cat tooth. We're nearly done. All right, yeah. jolly good. Alchemy lab. Where are the bat wings? There they are. So blatantly, they do damage health. Mix it with the ste skewer tails. Yeah, damage health. whole bunch of uh, po poisons we've just made. I don't know if I'll ever remember to use them, but we've got them. Fortify health. Restore health. Bunch of those. Restore magicka. 
store stamina. Oh my word, we can make lots of these. Alright, that's one way to level up your alchemy. <laughs> Resist magicka. Resist poison. Resist fire. Oh, and fortify two hands, apparently. Fortify health. Oh, we make buckets of these and all. All the alchemy skill increases. Hooray. We've, we've leveled up. <laughs> Possibly more than once, frankly. Okay. All right. Hello. Jorgen and I both work hard. Take a look. Uh, right, we've probably got now an absolute mountain of useless potions and things we don't need. Um, yes. She doesn't have enough gold to buy even, even close to all of these, does she? <laughs> oh dear. I'm not going to be carting around a whole bunch of relatively useless potions now. So I can get rid of all of these. At least we've got these poisons, I suppose. <gasps> Look at those! Those were, must have been made with the bat wings. Damages the target's health by 904 points? And this one, 900? Okay, yeah, something is really, really screwed with the bat wings, man. Uh... <laughs> I almost want to sell those just so I don't have utterly game-breaking poisons in my in my inventory but on the other hand I just know that that's going to be super useful one day against a really annoying enemy that's preventing me from making progress oh wow yeah no wonder the bat wings were insta-killing us <laughs> All right. Well, that's a, that's that's good to know. Apparently, bat wings are a source of extremely potent right, poison. Yeah. Flipping heck! Right, we're pretty tired, judging by my magic right now. I don't get many customers, but, oh. but that leaves me time to try things out, experiment, I guess. Oh, are you just closing up for the night? I suppose you were, weren't you? Okay, well, uh, we're pretty tired. We really could do with going to bed. Judging by the magic of bar, but we need to go and uh, play with the ghost. Some people will probably find this all a bit strange and weird and scary, but honestly, it's just another Tuesday as far as uh, Fathus is concerned. He's had long conversations with Dwemer engineer ghosts in the depths of... Dwemer ruins beneath Mournhold, after all. I don't know if any of you remember that from the Monorend LP, that whole conversation with the... with the slightly redneck Dwemer. Um, scientist or engineer or whatever he was. Let's, uh, yeah. Find Helge after dark. Perhaps... Well, where is it sending me right now, out of curiosity? Oh, that's just the Inigo Mac marker. Let me untick that. And try a little bit of clairvoyance. Whoa, look at the night sky tonight. The uh the Aurora Borealis are very purple this evening. leading me now. Ugh, a ruckus coming from those caves. Do they think they are keeping half the town up at night? You might have something useful to say. Also, she sounds amazingly like the, uh, the elder from Fallout 2 at the very beginning chosen one you know etc oh a new face in mortal is it 
I trust you haven't come to give us any more grief. Gods know this town has had more than enough to deal with of late. I wouldn't dream of it. Oh, they've got a bit of fire in their belly, do they? <laughs> Mags appreciates those with a bit of backbone, as long as the adventurer keeps to themselves, yes. Perhaps. Old Mags has been here longer than most. Longer than the war. Longer than the Dominion. Here she's sat, and... Here she will remain still. Dark tidings or the occasional smart-mouthed adventurer won't be changing that. Best you remember that if you seek what only I can offer, stranger. You're a merchant? No trinkets or bubbles, oh no. Mags offers more than what simple gold may buy. More than the Cretans or the wenches. Far more valuable, yes, and infinitely more noble, but still she sees. Uh, uh, mystic, wonderful. The traveler may click their tongue, turn the nose up at Mags, but they cannot change what only I can see. No. Only fools fail to heed what the tides offer. What do you want? Wrong question. The question they must ask is, why am I here? Fade. Chance. What drives the traveler? Do they seek answers or only more questions? What brought them to old mags, hmm? I don't, uh, I don't know. I was just exploring. Thought maybe you'd be able to help. And yet, they find themselves here. <laughs> Perhaps you are not entirely lost after all. Very well. I'll humor her. Tell me what you see. You do not come empty-handed, do you? Mag sees and knows much, Traveler. For what is taken, something must be given in return. Dare I ask what this payment is? <laughs> it is as the tradition holds. The bloodied heart of creatures born from shadow. Bring it to Megs and perhaps the tides will listen. Go then, shoot! Presumably she wants a danger heart then. Strange lady, but then again. I've met a lot of strange people on this journey. Maybe she's one of the useful ones. Also, it's bloody freezing, apparently. Alright, my clairvoyance is leading me this way. Cold and very, very tired, but here we go. I'm starting to get the impression that the clairvoyance is leading me down the wrong path here. Oh, uh, that'll be why. Or maybe not. I'm not sure. Alright. Clairvoyance is clearly not working. The visions are cloudy. Oh, they shut the gate. Makes sense, I suppose. Well, 
It's dark. Let's head back to the little house, I suppose. What does it say? Find Helgi after dark. Mm. I have a bad feeling about this. Where's oak flesh? Probably get inside somewhere warm pretty soon, but hello, who the hell are you? Oh, oh really? We're doing that, are we? Oh, god damn it, man. I was just about to steal life back off her. When did I say? Hopefully, it was relatively recent. Yeah, it was about as soon as I saw her. Hello, yeah, and you're hostile. Hey. Oh my. That was with Oak Flesh on as well. One hit killed with Oak Flesh. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use this, then quickly switch to Dagger and Buckler, and then see if I can take her in a fight that way. There we go, much easier. They let the vampire. Another Eastern Dwemer War Axe. Ah, here we are. You found me! Laylot was trying to find me too, but I'm glad you found me first. Layla was told to burn mommy and me, but she didn't want to. She wanted to play with me forever and ever. She kissed me on the neck, and I got so cold that the fire didn't even hurt. Layla thought she could take me and keep me, but she can't. I'm all burned up. I'm tired. I'm gonna sleep for a while now. The devil's this fella? Layla. She's dead. He's your beard. She's, she's a vampire. Well, I'm glad you noticed that. Otherwise, this could have been a very awkward conversation. She's dead. Laelette is dead. I assume she was your wife because the dialogue option is telling me what can you tell me about your wife? Laelette. I thought she left to join the Stormcloaks. Oh, my poor Laelette. And it's odd that you just happen to be passing by right now, honestly, but okay. Weird coincidence. Did you notice anything strange before she left? She began to spend a lot of time with Alva. Yet just a week before, she despised her. In fact, the night she disappeared, she was supposed to meet Alva. Alva told me later that she never showed up. I never got to tell her. Goodbye. I think they may have met after all. You think Alva? But that means... Ye gods, you think Alva is a vampire? Ah, good old-fashioned, unironic ye gods. You don't hear that every day, do you? It's a possibility we can't ignore. No, you're wrong. You must be wrong. Leolette may have met her fate out in the marsh. I refuse to believe Alva had anything to do with this. There is no way you can prove it to the Jarl. I hope Alva is not what you think. Why are you being so oddly protective of Alva? Okay. Well, I guess we need to go and have a conversation with Alva, or at least check her house. Question is, are we, do, we, do we want to do that right now, or...? Are we going to do that tomorrow during the day?
part of me wants to do it during the day, not only because we're tired, but also because the vampire will be hiding during the day. And possibly weaker as a result. But on the other hand, as soon as Alva learns that Laylette has been found and killed, she might decide to up sticks and run. So... I'm gonna go and fetch Inigo. Strahd can stay where he is. But Inigo, at least, for, for a little bit of backup, I think. Wait a minute, is that Alba right there? I think it might be, you know. Wait, Inigo. Yes, my friend. Come with me. I was getting comfortable. We're about to get very uncomfortable, my friend. Let's have quickly just a bite to eat, shall we? There we go. I hear you put Laylette out of her misery. You heard that very quickly. Well, aren't you the handsome one? You and I should spend some time together. Nice try. Go on, in you go. Don't fret over. She's the here. She's not at home. Just watch our backs in case she decides to follow us. Right then. Now would be a good time to try using clairvoyance. Assuming it's going to work properly this time. Alright. Uh, where's the buckler? There it is. I need I really need to hockey that and also what on earth is going on there? <laughs> Just when you think you've ironed out the last of the mod conflict. Need something. There's a wardrobe stuck in a wall. At a jaunty angle as well to boot. Keep a lookout. This mist may be hiding many dangers. Be watchful. You'd think we'd need a warrant to do this, really, but. Whoa! Ah! Easy. I feel like it would have been better to not kill him given the opportunity, but. Uh... He didn't really give us the opportunity, did he? There's a key to the house. Girls yellow dress, okay. What are we looking for exactly? Oh, the cellar. Okay. Oh, a copy of Immortal Blood, really. Isn't that a bit on the nose? Oddly enough, I'm allowed to take it if I want to. I think I might do so as evidence. Oh, wait, no, it did say steal, but never mind. Aha. Uh -huh. A coffin. Well, I think we found all the evidence we need, but uh... I need proof for the art. I mean, how much more proof do we bloody need? Is there something missing? Back down to the cellar. Oh. In a go. Oh. There was a. Oh, I couldn't see. It was too dark. Gotcha. Right. Hang, hang, let me just. Uh... What do I have bound to one at the moment? It's my dagger, isn't it? And two is. Strangulation. Three is. Oak flesh. Four. Healing. Five. 
long stride, I think, isn't it? All right, five is now f henceforth going to be the uh, the dwarven buckler. Here we go. My life is dreary. Where is my prince come to rescue me? Where is my bald Nord warrior to sweep me off my feet? I need a hero. I mean, <clears throat> I met a man today when picking night flowers. He is exciting and exotic. We kissed in the moonlight. It was so romantic. I'm going to see him again tonight. I understand the true colours of the night. Movarth has shown me the true black of night and the true red of blood. He has promised me a feast of blood if I do his bit bidding in Morthor. Drogar was e easy to seduce. Movarth said I should find a protector first, someone to watch over my coffin during the day. Drogar is perfect. Lelette came to visit me tonight. She slaked my thirst. I've hidden her away to let her rise as my handmaiden. I've spread the rumour in, in the town that she left to join the war. Fools. Movarth has confided his grand plan to me. I aim to, I aim to seduce the guardsmen one at a time and make them my slaves. Then he and the others from the coven can descend upon Morthal and take the entire town. We won't kill them all. Uh, they will become cattle for our thirst, an endless supply of blood and an entire town to protect us from the cursed sun. Drogar's family is becoming inconvenient, I've told Layla, to kill them all, but make it look like an accident. Rogar must be seen as an innocent if he's going to be my protector. That little fool, Lelet, burned Rogar's family alive. I asked for an accident, and she gave me a scandal. To make matters worse, she tried to turn his little girl, Helgi. Except Lelet couldn't even get that right. She killed the child and left the body to burn. Something is wrong with Lelet. She keeps talking about Helgi. I think her mind has snapped. She seems to think that the child can be still be brought back to be her companion. There is a stranger in town, looking into the fire. I'll have to be careful. Well, you weren't bloody careful enough, were you? All right, in you go. In, in you go. Oh, you must be upstairs still. There you are. Come on, let's get out of here. Let's go and warn the Arl. Right, we don't need to go out all guns blazing, do we? We'd have the door locked behind us. Oh, is that door fixed as well? The one for the guardhouse, it is. Thanks to the patch. Excellent. Brilliant. Out of the way, chickens! I'm on important business! I don't know if the Yarl's even awake right now, but we'll find out. Well, she's not in her throne, is she? There's clairvoyance when you need it. Ah, up here. Okay. Perhaps up here? Shrine of Kinnereth. This must be the Yarl's quarters. Oh. Your Yarlness, your grace. Is Grogar innocent or not? She doesn't seem surprised to see us. Alva set the fire. She's the murderer. Alva? <laughs> Didn't think she had it in her. Actually, she's a vampire. She planned to enslave the entire town. I assume you have proof? Can't go making accusations like that without proof. What, do you think I'm some sort of amateur? I have Alva's journal, of course. So it's true, the traitorous bitch. Morthal owes you a debt. Here, you were promised a reward for solving the crime, but I need one more favor from you. Morthal is still in danger. The journal mentions Movarth, a master vampire I thought was destroyed a century ago. I'll gather together some able-bodied warriors to clean out Mobart's lair. They'll be waiting outside for you to lead them. Mm -hmm. I guess we're not going to get any sleep first, huh? <laughs> All right, we better go collect Strahd from the inn. <laughs> we're going to need his help, aren't we? <laughs> this place is pretty cool, though, eh? This new version of High Moon Hall. Obviously, way more impressive than the vanilla game. Holy balls. Lair. You guys were prepared, yes. weren't you? Yeah. Kill the vampire. Kill, kill him. Destroy him. him. 
She's dead. Layalette is dead. Y yes. Uh, you want me to help kill the vampire? Or you want to help me, I rather? Want vengeance for my wife. Vengeance for Layalette. <laughs> We're marching on Mobar's lair, whether you come with us or not. All right, then. Just, I need to go and collect Strag from the inn. I, I... One moment.